if this universe is sentient, it's created by thought. And in the same way, our own lives are created by thought, not thought alone. There has to be the power that manifests the thought. And that's how it is in our lives, right? You, you, you don't get to just think a thought and it just manifests. No, it takes power over time that is being guided by that thought. Might the whole universe be created that way? It's the universe thinking and dreaming. The universe is thinking and dreaming, and then the power of the universe is manifesting those thoughts and dreams. And that's how our life is, or at least how it could be. Now, as, as above, so below. The, the power of love that moves through us manifests the creative thought. But the thought has to be not different in, in its quality of creativeness from what's above the way the universe was created. It has to be that same quality of creative thought. So what, it, what makes thought creative in that way? I can't answer that. I, I don't know if you can, I can't. Um, but we could think of some qualities of it. You know, creative thought is beautiful. It's some kind of unfolding pattern. It, ha it, it is not just um, r something random. L like, it's not just this thought, then that thought, then that thought. No, it's an unfolding pattern that's expressing itself through the thought that we see. And it's magnificent when it happens, is it not? Well, what gives you more joy than to create in that way? 